We have been on the search for the most bizarre keto chow flavor yet. Well, my dear Watson, I think we found it. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon, and that way every single time we discover the strangest flavor of keto chow, you'll be alerted to it. So last year, I guess it was June, we were out in Utah, and when after we got back from the airport, Chris and Miriam took us by the Keto Chow office and they had us do a blind taste test of something. Normally, we would be super excited and happy and joyful to do this yep. until we tasted the first sip. Yeah, so they didn't tell us what it was and we figured, let's go ahead and show you what we experienced the first time we tasted this. I have two flavors Travis, that I want Joe Christian, to drink. Oh, okay. Are these the ones that we tried? Oh. You guys are pretty Hello, nice. how are you? Good, I'm Rachel. Nice, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you too. I'm Travis. Hey, Travis. Okay. Oh, gosh. He spiked these. This is spiked keto chow. No, I'm just kidding. It's, it's a test flavor. Uh oh. He's, so. Turkey and gravy. That's what I think it is. I know it's it's not that. Thanksgiving. Oh that my gosh. It's going to be licorice and PB and J. Yes. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> it doesn't look like peanut butter. We tried enough. to get the grape flavor. We didn't put but the color in there. That's why you no. can't tell what it is. Please be strawberry. Please be strawberry. Okay. And they have no colors, so you no really don't know. Which one? I would which? try number two first. This one? Yep. That's what my brother would totally punk me and say that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. It is. is Blaine, it? you got your Blaine. wish. This is licorice. This is, this is absolutely. This is absolutely. Like I mean, yeah. I oh. mean, it's. Why did I go back in? <laughs> because it's so dead on. It's dead it's on. on. It is dead on. Dead yeah. on. See, I mean, when you say licorice, I'm thinking black. Like, oh I love my red God. Licorice. This no. Is this is like no. Yeah. Oh my God. Imagine yourself eating a red vine. You've bitten off the top of the bottom and you're using it as your milk straw. This is totally like just the inside guts of like a Swedish fish. Yeah. All right, let's try okay, it. You ready for two? You have, yeah. I mean, for number one, you have to do it at the same time. Let's dink it. Dink. dink. <laughs> Give him a sink. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You totally nailed it. Oh, I gotta go in. It's so bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was that licorice or was that licorice? I hate licorice. Oh Tell my gosh! You know what that is? It's black licorice, it Blaine. Is. You totally <laughs> nailed it. Oh. That is like my grandma's Easter basket right there. Like, oh. That is disgusting. Welcome to Utah. Yeah, you freaking uh, nailed that flavor, though. But th this is actually strangely not, bringing me back. Oh, it's, it's not bad. I don't know it's why. Yeah, the black one's gross. <laughs> it reminds me of the, the little good and plenty, the, oh, yeah. the coated yeah, candy. Yeah, all this is like a out. happy yeah. accident. Yeah. yeah, I just threw them out. <laughs> that, oh. <laughs> it's like you get a bag of jelly beans, all the black oh, ones go in the garbage. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, there you go. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, <laughs> where's the peanut butter? Does the not flavor here. do? That's not happening. Does the flavor <laughs> enhance the longer you let it go? You sit in there on the end of your trip, come back and taste it again. More intense flavor. Yeah. So yeah, that was definitely an interesting experience because if you've been watching this channel for any length of time, you know I don't like black licorice. You've been dreading a potential black licorice flavor, and I have to say though that the weirdest 
flavor was not black licorice to me. For right. me, the weirdest flavor was red licorice. And the reason why is I could not put it down. Yeah, you you were like, this is weird, but- Accurate. It's accurate and like, it's kind of growing on me. But honestly, I thought it was a joke because they did that at a time where like we were doing a lot of videos talking about how much I hate black licorice. Right. Subscribers were sending me black licorice pills. Blaine was going like black licorice keto chow. I mean, and it, I thought it was just a joke. No, they actually made it. Until we got this in the mail. Yeah, and it's been a while though, Joe. Yep. I think that we need to give it another shot. No. So that it's fresh in our minds. No. Beef, butter, bacon, eggs, and keto chow. This is keto chow. It is not off limits. Okay, well, we can drink this one. Well, we're gonna drink both of them, but I got But I news. already tried these. I mixed these, but I don't remember which one has got which bottle. Really? Really. I just Honestly, wanna, I, just I do drink, not know which one is I which. I just wanna drink the red licorice. I know, because the red licorice is really good, but we need to do both. Okay. So maybe I put pink in, like the red one in the pink one. Okay. Let's just go with that first. Shake it up really good. Let's Butter? give it a, another, yes, of Butter. course. Yeah, because it's, right now we had to make I don't even it lick the lid. during January. You ready? You can't have heavy whipping cream. Was I right? Mm mm. Black. That is my bad. <laughs> that is really my bad. I should have put the red one okay. in the red one. But let's talk about black licorice. Mm. It's accurate. It is absolutely accurate. If you're a licorice like fan, I want to say fiend because just mm. Okay, I, this is this is going to be if weird. If you like it, it's growing on me. Take another sip. It's growing on me because it's black licorice. You've got the tinge of black licorice, but the sweetness that comes, comes up from behind. behind it mixed in with the milk protein. I don't know if I would buy a lot. But it's it's like You're I not could wrong. I could drink this. You know what I would do? It's, it's not like give me a black jelly bean and I'm spitting that out of my mouth as far as it can possibly go. I'm about I to blow your mind. This. Are you ready for this? Cookies. Yeah. Cookies made with this flavoring would be really good, right? Yes, because I, there is sometimes where I like black licorice. Like I like anise cookies yeah. and things like that. Heck, I'm I'm German, right? So we made a lot of things using anise, which is a licorice. And yeah, if you were making something like that. Well, we have like the Pizzelli cookie maker and right. we have poured the batter for for keto chow yeah. into this. Like we yeah, make pancake because batter. Because Pizzelli's are a lot of times have a licorice base to them. So yeah, that's what I'm saying. This, this is... It is so accurate. It's not it's not horrible. It's not peach. No, it is not. Like I would I would drink this all day long and yeah. in, instead of peaches and cream. It's Aww. it's not like a, a super strong black licorice. It's like it's sweet but bitter at the same time. So again, black licorice, not my thing, but if you gave me one, I would drink it. I personally, and again, taste is subjective. Yeah. Um, probably would not order a whole bunch of them for me. Because you're not a black licorice person. But if person, you're a black licorice person, you're, you're gonna, gonna love this. this. Cause let's, it's strangely let's, let's, awesome. Let's move on. Let's this move is, on. But I gotta say, this is the ultimate whodunit. Because I don't know the mystery of how they made it both black licorice and palatable is okay, amazing. So this one, I'm willing to lick the lid cause I know what it is now. You know, it's the red. Yeah, which is bizarrely delicious. That is so good, but it's weird. It messes with you. It, it's so, when you first get it on your tongue, you get- Twizzlers, Swedish I, fish. Well, the first taste that I get is almost like a vanilla kind of keto chow. It's like just that milk protein. Mm -hmm. And then within a half a second, you're like, I taste Twizzlers. I feel like I, with one sip, I feel like I have eaten an entire bag of Swedish fish and Twizzlers. It's really like it's good. just all through your mouth. It's really good. It's 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 Amazing. strange, but it, like it, weird. 
the first time somebody ever said black licorice keto chow or licorice keto chow, it's like that would just That's be a dare. gross. It's like, but it's actually surprisingly good. Like where you want to keep diving back in for more. even the black one. This, you want to keep getting more. This is a this is a wizarding effect to me because this is like having a, like birdie bots every flavor bean and actually liking it because it's right. like black licorice. It is a flavor, right? Mix it with keto chow? Like, I, I don't know, it, yeah. right? It's like Good Mythical Morning. Did, will it keto it chow? Work, but yes, it works. apparently it will. I, I will say this. So, again, this is the first time we're tasting it since the test batch. Yeah. And I want to say a big thank you yes. to keto chow for not making the black licorice black. Right, because I don't because think that, I that, think that coloring. Would, like, for me, and for most people, we, we eat with sight. Like, when... That's why when you go to a restaurant, they spend so much time making something look pretty. That's why fast food restaurants spend so much time using fake food to give you perfect photographs because like our eyes have a lot to do with how we perceive it's gonna taste. And had that been black, it would have been an instant turnoff for me. Well, for me, it would have, I, I would be afraid that it would have like the effect of Redmond charcoal toothpaste, mm. but without rinsing out. Like what if it tinged your mouth black or your teeth or right. your gums or something, your tongue? Like, I don't want to like have like a full chow chow tongue. Well, this is really good. I, is. I, I mean, even the black one is good. I have to say like the black one I'm is good. Amazed. I don't like black licorice, but I want to finish it. We should mix them and see what it comes out to be. <laughs> I'm, I'm almost afraid. I'm afraid. Okay, well, these just got announced. Um, so if you're seeing this, uh, February 1st, they got announced. It's a limited edition flavor. So far as we know, it's a limited different edition flavor. It's not available in big bags. It's only available in these little pouches. Go ahead and use the link down below and you're going to get 10% off of your entire order. So you can order this and some bunch of other flavors. So anything that you order that's not a subscription, you'll get 10% off when you use that link down below. Let us know down in the comment sections what other weird flavor should Keto Chow what come out with? What is coming out next? Like, I just, I don't think that they could top. Like Jawbreakers flavor? I don't know what they could do to top it. I now really and don't. later? I yeah. Mean. <laughs> I, I, don't, I just don't know. Like, maybe they're going to go for, like, the, uh, what's those ones that, like, tear jerkers? Something something that's so sour, like, you, you just start crying. You know what the, the one that would be great to see? But I don't think any company has ever been able to come close to a good one, and that is watermelon. Watermelon. Have you ever had a good, like, watermelon flavor? The closest you're going to get is watermelon Jolly Ranchers. But even that's not water, it's like candy watermelon. It's like it's like peaches, peaches, right? Peaches, you either have fresh or you have candy, but there's there's no way to, re I've never tasted a an imitation fresh peach flavor. I don't know. Maybe it, they're so amazing in like the recipe development. I wouldn't be surprised if they come out with something that was like bag of Skittles and it's like different flavors all through it. Yeah. Like who knows Let what they Let us know down do. in the comment section. What, what weird flavors do you think they should come out with? Now, if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. Whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon in that way. Every single time we solve the mystery of the most bizarre keto chow flavor yet, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.